Hey drummers, welcome to this free video drum lesson from drumsandword.com. I'm Rob, and I thought I'd treat you guys today to um, a little lick that I heard in the video um, of Dave Grohl and Taylor Hawkins doing a duet drum solo back in the day, early Foo Fighters days. You'll find the link to that video um, in the description box below, as well as the free PDF that comes with that this lesson, so you can actually have it printed out in front of you as you practice along with the video or on your own, your own practice kit. Um, it's a really cool lick. I, I like to think of it as a signature drum fill. I've heard Dave play variations of this um, uh, on many of his solos. He likes to play this kind of lick. Lots of flams, lots of bottom, bottomy tri type triplets. Usual stuff you'd expect from Dave Grohl. Really good stuff. So let's get, let's get some straight on with it. The tempo's around 140 BPM, but of course it's not really a song. But actually they're playing along to the stacked actors riff. Ding, 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 ding. Um, in the background. Um, so 140 BPM. That's how, that's how fast he plays it on the recording. And the lick consists of really just two parts. It's, it's a five bar phrase, but it's, it's really just, just two parts, each of them in groups of six. So we're thinking of groups of six today. The first grouping of six is played through 16th notes. So we're playing the tempo of this, one, two, three, four. So we, um, we'll be counting 16th notes at this sort of speed. That's, that's the speed of the 16th note. One E-ender, two E-ender, three E-ender, four E-ender. And the group of six is a flam, bass drum, then we play floor, high, floor, then another bass drum, and that makes up our six notes, which goes nicely from beat one to the and of beat two to beat four, where it changes, which we'll go on to in a moment. So again, that lick, that first part, the first grouping of six, one E and a two E. And you might want to try it, well, you definitely want to try and loop that. That's a cool little lick on its own. You can play that through triplets, you can play that through 16th notes. Um, it's a really nice um, lick. Any, any licks that are, are, are sort of um, three notes long, four notes long, six notes long, eight, no, eight notes long, are really good because they fit into most music you play. So again, so try and loop it around a few times. Drum fill. Something like that. That's the first grouping of six. Then we get on to beat four, because he plays that grouping twice. So we get one E and a two E and a three E and a. And then from beat four, he changes to triplets, his bottom triplets, which a lot of great drummers play, including Mr. Dave Grohl. Um, I've talked about these a lot in lessons before. So very, very simply, it's right, left, foot, right, left, foot. So snare, high tom, bass drum, and another grouping of three, floor, high, bass drum. And that grouping of six takes up a whole beat, so we're counting um, four to the editor. Um, so if the tempo's this, ding, 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 then bottom triplets are gonna be, slowly, so the cool thing is, that right hand comes down onto the snare drum on the downbeat of beat four and then back to the downbeat of the next beat. So you're counting one and two and. The bass drum's on the upbeat though, so feel that as the upbeat, that's not your bass drum laying on the downbeat, your right hand is leading you for this. And then try and put the two together. So this is the first bar. Notice how we're playing the triplets slightly faster than the 16th notes, because 16th we have four per beat, and 16th note triplets we have six per beat, so we need to play them a little bit faster in order to fit them into the whole of the beat. So there's the first bar, the second bar, and the third bar. But then what um, Dave does is he continues those bottom triplets all the way through the fourth bar. So you've got the end of bar three where you've got those bottom triplets and then you just repeat them for four whole beats for the fourth bar. And it ends with a snare drum and crash cymbal on the, um, on the fifth bar. Again, with those triplets, hear the snare drum as beats one, two, three, and four. So if you're hearing ding, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, with the crash cymbal at the end though. One, two, three, four. And that 
that's it. So um, again, here's what uh, the whole thing sounds like, played up to speed. Without my mic on, so you can hear just the drums. Alright guys, I hope you found that fun. That was a lot of fun for me. I might be doing a few more of these signature lick videos in the future with some of my favourite drummers. Um, if you haven't checked out my website, drumsaword.com, then please do. You get loads of free lessons just like this, loads of free PDFs, but you can also pay for a, a subscription service where you get access to all of my full song lessons, where I teach a song from start to finish. I've got almost 200 songs up there now um, with full PDF drum charts. $97 for a year subscription, you get access to every single video, um, chart, ebook that I've ever produced. That's you know, loads of those. I've been doing this for like six, seven years now. Um, so please do check that out. Check out my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Instagram, all the Google+, Plus, all the usual places. Until next time, toodle pip and happy drumming to you!